So today I want to show you a really really good place where you can get data for your machine learning projects and you know as a beginner if you're doing a machine learning course or you know you, you're kind of new to data science machine learning you're trying to understand how it works and usually these courses come bundled with you know pre-packaged perfect data that's been cleaned and you know entirely pre-processed and you kind of miss out on that phase of data science and in any machine learning project you know the pre-processing stage is probably 80 percent of the work you know building a model it isn't hard you know the models are already made they're, all, they're just part of libraries you write a couple of lines of code and you run your data through it so I feel like a lot of the courses out there skip over this huge uh, data pre-processing stage and a really good way to practice is to just go and get some data and have a go you know try and clean it yourself do the pre-processing run it through a model and see what happens and it can be it can be really difficult to source the data especially if you're new to this and you don't really know where to look so what I'm going to show you today is an awesome github repository and it's actually called awesome data and i'll leave a link to it below obviously so you can go check it out but i just kind of want to show you how much data there is out there you know and it's it's people just put it out there as open source for you to use it and practice and you know maybe you could even use it for research and could end up publishing a paper or something you know but so here's the the github repository and you know you can read some of this stuff but here's basically all the categories of the data that's on here so you know if you scroll down you've got agriculture biology climate and weather computer networks earth science economics education energy finance basically <laughs> you're guaranteed that whatever you're interested in is on here and there's some data for you to play around with. Just an, as an example, I'm going to show you some of the climate change ones. So, for example, we've got here, um, let's have a look, global climate data since 1929. So we can have a look at that. So we can break it down by continent. So we'll go for Europe. Uh, let's go UK. Um, for now, we'll just pick any one and go with the first one. So you can see here we've got um, data for each year and let's choose 2010 for example and let's have a look let's choose January so here is all the climate data for January of 2010 and it's just here you know in, in, in a nice format for you to pull down and pre-process and run through a machine learning algorithm but obviously you will need to go through that stage of compiling a, a big data set and you know doing the cleaning and the processing but that's how you truly get a feel for data science you know it is a bit of an art to it and in the real world if you want to be a if you want to be a data scientist in the real world you're not going to get data coming at you that's perfectly set up for machine learning you just not it never happens um you're you're always going to have to pre-process it and identify you know which of the features in the data are relevant and there are tools out there for that but i just wanted to share this with you basically so you can have a look and you know this this is just one month you can pull down the data some of it is already organized you can just download as a csv some of it you will have to pull down yourself and there are, again there are tools out there for that but yeah i mean there's so much here if we go back you know it's it's just so fun if, if you're into data science this is it's just awesome it's like a it's like a go-to place to have fun with data but yeah, that's basically just what I wanted to show you, and yeah, go have fun with it. 
So before you go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate this since it helps my channel grow and I put a lot of effort into making these videos. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a link in the description below where you can do that, but it's up to you. That's about it from me. I hope you all have an awesome day. Take it easy.